Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. My car is currently dead right now, so long story short, was going to work like three days ago. My car started up, and then it just went like, and then it just died on me. So here I have a new fuel relay for the fuel pump. So I'm gonna be changing that out. I know it's not a dead alternator. It's not a dead battery. The reason why I say it's not a dead battery is because there's still power to the car. Oh, if I get these damn insects out of my way. The fuel relay, you gotta open the back. And this is a 2015 Ford Taurus Limited. Just in case you guys are wondering. You guys gotta open the back seat here. Take this cover off here. Yeah, I got a lot of junk in my trunk. I have a lot. I get this cover off. There's the fuel relay module there. Well, it's actually called the fuel relay. So I gotta take that off, unbolt this. So let's get started. All right, YouTube, so I just got my toolbox out. So yeah, um, long story short about my fuel relay here. Uh, this is not the first time it's gone out, if it is the fuel relay. This is the second time, if it is the fuel relay. Um, it went out on me a year ago when I went to the CDL school, getting my license at the time. And I got stuck there for the rest of the day I was up there for. I tried starting my car up. I tried starting it up, actually, as a matter of fact. Um, I should have done that before I started this video, but uh, it just didn't want to start, you know. Uh, if I can get this damn thing unbolted. Hold on, give me a second. Before I remove that fuel relay, I wanted you guys to hear what it sounds like if I try to start it. I just reconnected the battery, because uh, when I'm working on it, I don't want to drain my battery. So here, let's try to start it up and see what happens. It won't, it won't start it up. It won't start up at all, watch. See, it almost started there. And then it just gives up, see? I could try it one more time and it just won't start. Yeah, it's definitely the fuel relay. It cannot be the alternator. I know it's not the battery, like I said, not the battery because there's power. So, you can smell the fuel too, so it's definitely, definitely has to be the fuel relay. Not the first time it went out on my car. I definitely know what the issue is for sure. So let's disconnect the battery and let's get started on that fuel relay again. All right, YouTube, let's continue disconnecting this. Um, as, as of right now, I can smell that fuel. It smells very rich in here with gasoline. Um, actually, just for a quick second, let me stop here. If I want to show you guys, I want to show you guys where the fuel pump is actually. It's actually right here on the passenger side back door underneath these seats where I'm pointing my tool at right here. Yep, that's where it's at on this 2015 Ford Taurus Limited. Um, had that changed out a year ago too as well, um, which I probably didn't need to change out the fuel pump at the time. It probably was just this relay that I'm changing here that probably need to be just changed. So I'm going to cut the video off because I don't want you guys to see me unbolting this for too long. Um, I'll record another video after I'm done unbolting this, so I'll be right back. All right, YouTube just unbolted it. Now I got to take it off, unclamp it. Damn, this is, oh, there we go. All right, so as you guys can see, this is the old one. New one's in this box right over here. So give me a couple minutes, I'll, and I'll be installing it because that's what I'm going to need. Actually, I'll take it out the wrapper right now so you guys can see. Give me a second. All right, here we go. This is the new one that's going on right now. So I'll be right back when I start bolting this stuff on. All right, YouTube, back. So this is the, this is the new one that's going on right now. So let's let's get these bolts back on. These bolts suck because you got so little space to work with. That's the part that sucks a lot. Yeah, I really smell that rich fuel mixture right now in the car. You can smell that. Yeah, it smells really good if you ask me. I love that smell of gasoline. It smells awesome. All right, let's. Both are back on. I had to use a ratchet handle because the tool I was using before just wasn't enough. It just so little space. These ratchet handles really come in a lot of handy, and especially in these tight spaces. Especially when you have these small ones like I'm the one, uh, the one I'm using right here. Doesn't help with the fact that you got to bend over a little bit for this just to work on this properly. All right, that's tight enough. And I'm using one of the big sockets too in the new toolbox that I bought a couple months ago. So, 
almost done here. That was a quick install. Come on, bolt on, come on. I don't know, it doesn't seem like it wants to go in there. What the hell? There we go. Now it's going in. Alright, that's all set, guys. New fuel relay is on there. The fuel pump relay. And then that's the old one right there you see right there. That's a new one, obviously. Got my whole toolbox set up. All right, let me cut it off right here. All right, I'm back on. So let's shut the. Oh shit! I hope I didn't break something in my door there. Oh shit! I think I just broke something. Ah damn! I swear, the cheap things that they make on these cars nowadays. <laughs> All right, so gonna gonna reconnect the battery. And I'm gonna try a remote start. So give me a second. I gotta close the hood. Yeah, I gotta close the hood because the remote start won't work without the hood without the hood being closed. Damn construction. Alright, let me get my keys out. I would hope it was the fuel pump relay. Sorry for moving around a lot. Uh, let's try a remote start right now. Nope. Okay then, so it probably wasn't the fuel relay then. Alright, so it was something else then. Maybe it is my alternator. Alright, I'm going to have to check this, this stuff out. Well, thanks for watching.